Live. All right, you guys, this is a 10 year old paint gilding. A boy down in South Louisiana had this horse and he has roped on him. He said they've checked cattle on him. Um, he's team roped on him a little bit. His little girl has taken him to the play days. He said that she's loped him through the barrels quite a bit. Um, but they mostly used him to just ranch on, check cattle. You can see he's just nice one hand broke. You can rope off of him. So just a nice horse. He would be nice for somebody looking for a ranch type horse. He is a red dun paint. He does have a line down his back, real pretty red dun horse. And um, as you can see, you can, you can kind of work the rope on him. He's just a nice horse. But he lopes some circles. I mean, we'll do everything here in a minute so you can really kind of watch him ride around. He's just real unproblematic. Um, you can drag on him, so as you can see. I just want y'all to see he's just really an unproblematic horse. You can rope, you can drag. He's not spooky. He's not going to try to get away from you. He's one hand broke, lope circles, has a pretty decent stop on him. He's a horse that somebody could take home and you could have yourself a $75, $8,500 ranch horse on a budget because, I mean, as you can see, somebody's done a really, really good job with this horse. He's got a really nice headset. He lopes around like a little pleasure horse. I mean, what I like about him is he's smooth and he's just got a really even gait. Nice stop. He backs up. Good headset. The only thing that I would work on if he were mine is I would tune his stop up a little bit, but everything else is super easy. Has no buck, no rear up. He's going to be the perfect horse for somebody. I know one of you guys is looking for something you can go check your cows on. Maybe do just a little bit of ranch work. This is the perfect horse for that. I mean, you can rope that barrel. And as you can see, you can dally it off and go right on to dragging it. He's not scared of it behind him. He's not scared as it bounces around. And this horse will go through the barrels at a lope. The man that had him that had kind of used him to ranch on said his old girl took him to the play days. This isn't a super patterned fast barrel horse, but you can just lope him through the barrels nice and easy. And um, we'll get Jacob to set the barrels up for us. And when he gets out there and sets them up, Tylan will just kind of ease him through. So. All right. Just give him just a second. Tylan, you can just let him stand there while Jacob puts those up if you want to just. Yeah. So Jacob will. So you can see the, this horse will just, just stand here and be easy. You can lope him around down there and bring him up here. Now, I would say that if your kid has never ridden a horse before, he might be a little bit too much just because he is forward. He's got a nice lope. Um, but what I can tell you is, is if you're needing something that you and your husband can go ride every day, go check cows. You can swing a rope off of him. If you needed to catch something and doctor at this horse, they did say has been used. They said he can work a rope. Obviously not scared of the rope, not scared. You can dally off and pull. Now, the thing about this horse is they said that the kids have taken him to the play days and loped him through the barrels and that he's broke enough they can lope him through. That's a plus when you have one that you can go do your work on. And then if you need him on a Sunday for the play day for the kids, I mean, right there, nice little lope. Okay. Yes, sir. Nice. Nice. Absolutely swapped leads. This isn't his first barrel race. Good job. Just a super cute little play day horse, all around family horse. Horses like this are very, very valuable because like I said, you need to go catch a cow or something. This horse is gonna go do it. But if you need to take him to the play days and the kids need to ride him, you can do that as well. And obviously this horse will go trail ride. He'll go do anything in the world you want him to. All right, you guys, we're having a star party. If you could please send some stars, that would be great. Thank you, Tylan. That horse, he's ready for you to turn him around and do it again, isn't he? All right, you guys, send stars. But, yep, super, super nice horse. Just, um, and again, he is a red dun, so he does have a line down his back. He's, his hocks are a little bit striped. Um, just a really cool, so he's not, not a sorrel in white paint. He's a red dun in white paint. He's got great bone, good feet. I don't see any big blemishes on him. I don't see anything, of course, that makes me, me leery. I mean, he's just a super nice horse, you guys. And he's, how old was he? He was 10. He was 10 years old. He's probably, he's 1,200 pounds. He's right at 15 hands. He's just a good sized horse. You know, Tylan's like about six foot. So this horse can carry a big man. 
So if this is what you're looking for, he's going to work for anybody. He plows 3,850 acres, and I feel like you can't go to any cell barn in the country and buy him for that price. So better get him bought before we get him really slicked off and his tail touches the ground because this horse will do good anywhere. All right, you guys, this is 950, and he's 3,850 acres, 15 hands, 12 about 1,200 pounds. You can rope off of him, ranch off of him, drag the barrel. This horse is good for anybody.